Hello and welcome to the Simutech Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to be talking you through getting started with ANSYS Discovery. So when you first open ANSYS Discovery, you're going to see this welcome screen. And I'd recommend going through the different pages in this the first time you're using the software. There's a lot of really helpful information in here. So as you go through, there will be little videos explaining kind of different parts of Discovery. So here it talks about the different stages in Discovery different user interface components, how to navigate, zoom, pan, rotate, that kind of thing, selection, using different tools, how to use the help. And then finally, you'll get to this screen where you can either choose to start an interactive tour, which I definitely recommend the first time you're using the software, or just open the home page. So we'll go ahead and open the home page right now. And that'll give you a couple things here. So you'll see uh, some recent files that you've opened up here. There's also some sample models that you can open as well. Under the learn screen here, you can jump to the welcome screen that we just went through. You can start an interactive tour for static structural, steady state fluid flow, a few other uh, options there as well. There's also a link to the discovery forum online tutorials, the online help, and the ANSYS Learning Hub. If you want to open a geometry right away, you can go to Browse and click the little drop-down and say Open a Geometry File, or if you just want to start from scratch, you can click New. So I'm going to go ahead and open a geometry file, and I'm going to pick this Pump Assembly Parasolid file, and click Open. Now, you can import geometry from pretty much any major CAD format uh, into Discovery here. So, now I've got my geometry. Let's talk a little bit about kind of the interface in Discovery. And I'm going to start with the three stages here. So, the first stage is called the model stage. And this is essentially just a stage where you would only use the CAD tools built into ANSYS Discovery. So you could use this to make modifications to the CAD or build CAD from scratch, whatever you need to do there. The next stage here is called the explore stage. And this is where you can use the real-time GPU solver in Discovery to solve structural, fluid, or thermal problems. So this is going to run on your graphics card. There are a couple requirements for your graphics card. So it needs to be an NVIDIA graphics card with at least four gigabytes of graphics RAM. There are a couple other requirements for it as well. But if you have a relatively recent card that meets those two, it'll probably meet these others too. So the explore stage is a great place to really quickly analyze a lot of different design ideas and make tweaks to your geometry and see in real time how that affects your stress and deflection if you're doing a structural or how it affects your fluid flow if you're doing a CFD analysis or temperatures if you're doing a thermal. If you want to do a more detailed analysis, you can go into the next stage called the refine stage. And here, instead of using that GPU based real time solver, you're going to be using one of the flagship solvers. So if you're doing a structural or a solid thermal analysis, that's going to be using the mechanical APDL solver. Or if you're doing a fluid flow analysis, that's going to be using the ANSYS Fluent solver. One thing to note about the refine stage is you will need other licensing in addition to the ANSYS Discovery license in order to use this. So for example, if you had a Mechanical Pro license or a different license that enabled the APDL solver, then you could use that here to run structural analysis. Or if you had, say, a CFD Pro or Premium license, you could use that to run a fluid flow analysis in the refine stage. All right, so let's go back to the explore stage and talk a little bit about some different areas of the user interface. And let's start with the help. To open the help, you can hit the F1 key and that'll show this overlay help. 
you can mouse over different things and it'll tell you some information about them. So a lot of different things you can do there. If you want to close the help, you can hit the exit help button. And to launch it, you can also hit help here. So F1 will open and close the help, or you can use the buttons up here as well. Down in the bottom left, we have some different options for the view. So if we wanted to make something wireframe or shaded, we can use that here. The home view, you can go to your home view. So if I move this away, click home, that'll take me back. There's options for different views here as well. And an option to color by material. So if I do that, you can see everything's assigned this structural steel material right now. You can also click on different buttons on the triad to align your view with those. We also have a couple areas on the top left here. So here we have the structure tree. So this has the different parts in our assembly. So I can see we have the different components in this pump housing here. I can do things like hide those by clicking the I there to hide the, in this case, the housing. There's also a button next to this that'll allow me to control whether that part is included or excluded from the simulation. So if I didn't want to include the housing in the simulation, I could turn that off here. These are also available by right-clicking, and you can say exclude from simulation or hide. So those are available there as well. You can also control the color of the parts by clicking the little colored square here. So if I wanted this to be bright green, I can change that here. Underneath that, we have the physics tree, which will get more populated as we set up some additional physics controls. So let's go ahead and set up a couple boundary conditions here real quick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select this surface. And then let's say I wanna apply a fix support to this hole and every other hole. So what I'm gonna do here is use what's called the power select tools, which are down here. I can click up, go to power select. And then I can say, all right, I wanna select all equal radius cylinders. Or you can say holes equal to five millimeters, variety of different options here. So I'll pick that. And then I'm gonna go up to this part here, which is called the halo. So when I click on that, you'll see this little halo shows up. And that has shortcuts to some of the most commonly used functions within ANSYS Discovery. So in this kind of section here, I have some physics controls. So things like assigning materials, thermal boundary conditions, fluid boundary conditions, or structural boundary conditions. I also have some selection tools if I click this sector, or geometry editing tools if I click this one. So I'll go to physics, go to structural, and click a support. The default type is fixed, so I just have to click the checkbox to create that. And when I do, you can see that changes the physics tree here to add a structural simulation. So now that I've added a structural boundary condition, it knows I'm doing a structural simulation and it's added in a fixed support on those surfaces. Then I'll go to this surface. You can also get structural boundary conditions from up here. And I'll go to force and put in a force here. So we'll say a thousand newtons and I'll hit enter. So what we're looking at now is called the heads up display or HUD. This is where you can choose different inputs for your boundary conditions or whatever tool you're using. So for example, a geometry editing tool like move would also have this. If you wanna get out of that, you can hit escape a couple times. Once we have all the boundary conditions that we want set up, I can just go down to the solve button here 
and click that. And then we'll be off and solving here. And you can see we get results pretty much in real time with this solver. If I wanna switch which result I'm looking at, I could pick say von Mises stress. Can also do things like highlight the max and min locations with the gear here and then clicking the show min max locations. And that'll highlight the maximum location with this little red symbol. This brings up one more option in the structure tree. You can choose whether to show results on specific parts or not. So if I wanna hide a couple parts here, I can show the results just on a couple pieces using this icon here. I hope this video helps you get started with ANSYS Discovery, and thank you for tuning in.